Hey, it's Mike from driveaday.com here to help you make After Effects non-scary and today we're going to talk about the zoom tool. Now the zoom tool I can't select yet because I have nothing to zoom into. To start that off, hit command N, get a new comp. Um, I've gone over this in nauseum in other videos so I'm just going to start just making a comp. But again, make sure your settings kind of match those 1920, 1080, 24, one minute, blue background, OK. Hit Q as in quail to draw a box. Um, undo that. If you don't want to do that, you can just double click on there and it'll make a giant rectangle. Maybe hit S for scale. You can scale it. Oops, you can scale it down a little bit. And there we go. So let's just say that you know everything is where we want it to be. To zoom in, you want to hit Z as in zoom, which is great because a lot of other things don't make sense here. Because if I wanted to write with text, I would think it would be T. But if I hit T, it's actually going to give me the opacity. So that's, you know, for whatever reason they chose that. But if I want to zoom in, I'm going to hit Z, as in zebra, or zoom, and now I can draw, you know, I can zoom in by drawing a box, and it'll go in, or I can keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking, and it will eventually stop. Um, if I hit uh, if I hit space bar, I can get the hand tool and I can move around. Let's say I want to go backwards, so if I hit option on a Mac, I would give me a minus sign, and I click, 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 and I go all the way back. Again, if I didn't want to do any of that, or I can draw a box, Draw a box, go in. See, it's kind of jumping around, so sometimes it's a little weird. In that sense, you could just hit Command minus, Command plus, Command minus, Command plus, and you can just have it go. Oops, you can um, just have it, you know, zoom in. I want this to be centered, so I'm gonna hit the space bar just to get it right in the center, and hit. There we go. Plus minus. Again, I can just hit click, 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 and I can hit Option, and I'll zoom out. And that's pretty much how it's done. So um, that's pretty much the length of the zoom tool. I mean, it's not like a super robust tool that's going to, you know, you are going to use it through your workflow. I'd say the major tools are always, you're always going to use the select tool, hand tool you're always going to use, the zoom tool you're always going to use. So the rest of the tools are kind of maybes, depending on what you're doing. You might just have a full on text uh, typography video where you're using type. You might have a video where you're just using, using shapes. You can draw them custom. You can do rectangles. Uh, anchor point, I use it at uh, nauseum because I like to have my anchor points be centered. But yeah, the zoom tool is one of those things where you will be working and you want to zoom in, but you are always going to be doing this through your entire workflow of your 40 to 70 hours of animating something, depending on how in in depth it is, um, but at minimum it'll take you maybe an hour or two depending on how simple something is. But yeah, that is the zoom tool. Uh, if you have any questions about After Effects to make it non-scary, please send me an email or or you can send me an email at micadrive80.com or you can just comment in the comments section wherever this video is posted. I put these all over the place and usually they're on LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook, but um, I check them all. And um, yeah, so any questions, feel free. Feel free to tag someone, share people, subscribe, all that good technical marketing crap that I'm supposed to say uh, just to grow this so I can make millions of dollars. But yeah, and if you want an animation where you don't have to do it, just check out drive80.com and check out the explainer videos that we do. Keep on, keep on.